And after previously announcing their plan to cut the number of school resource officers, the school district is now heeding the call from some of its students. News 19's Colton M. Swiler joins us now. And Colton, what's changing for next year? They're not really changing anything at all, Dustin. The district is keeping three SROs in place rather than dropping that number to two. After evaluating the SRO program, the district found that certain rates have dropped significantly since 2019. The juvenile arrest, arrest rate in La Crosse, previously sitting at 14%, is now over 10 points lower at 3.9%. And the out of school suspension rate is now a fraction of what it used to be, going from 12.5% to just 1.5. That's less than an eighth of what it used to be. Superintendent Dr. Aaron Engel attributes these improvements to a handful of reasons. When we call uh, police for incidents at school, uh, our administrators and our teachers are doing their best to view typical student behavior as typical and to not criminalize things that uh, might normally happen at a school. And then the other is uh, the La Crosse Police Department's work uh, in ensuring that, um, once again, typical student behavior is not criminalized in our community. And beyond the SROs, the district has rapidly expanded proactive social services and mental health interventions over the last two years, making sure students are safe both, both physically and psychologically. Also, Dustin, you may remember that a handful of Central High students petitioned to keep those three SROs in place. You can hear what they had to say coming up tonight at 10. All right, thank you, Colton and La Crosse Police also sharing a statement with us about their plan. Uh, saying in part they look forward to the continued partnership with the district building relationships with students, staff and families in the community.